What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, Athletics.com. So no matter how much you train your biceps, do they still look like this, like flat? You know, they don't have that peak maybe that you're looking for or the roundness and fullness when they're viewed from any angle, or they don't even have any of that definition that makes your biceps stand at attention. Well, I'm gonna help you today because I know exactly what's causing that problem. As a matter of fact, there's two of them. The first one just has to be said. Are you storing too much body fat? Because if you are, you're not gonna see the results of your hard work anyway. Guys, your body fat isn't just limited to around your waist, it can go everywhere on your body, and if you have just too much of it, it's gonna hide no matter what your biceps are looking like. But that's oftentimes not really the problem. The problem is you're not developing your biceps the right way, and for that, there's something you must make sure you're doing, and that is supinating. Now, listen, I know you've done that, but are you really doing it? Because what oftentimes happens is we just sort of turn our wrists up, but we're not actually forcefully trying to do that. And if you're not, you're missing the biggest opportunity to grow your biceps fully. I have three ways to actually guarantee that you're gonna do that on every single exercise you do, whether you're using a band, whether you're using a dumbbell, or whether you're using a cable machine. Let's start here with the dumbbell. And what I want you to do is not just curl the dumbbell up, right? Again, oftentimes we just do that, and not just turn your wrist as you do it but I want you to actually forcefully turn your wrist as you do it because the supination is the differentiator between biceps flexion of the elbow and brachialis flexion of the elbow. So if you want to get the biceps, you have to forcefully supinate. How do we make sure you do it? Offset that dumbbell. Take your grip and put it towards the end of the outside part of the dumbbell, like that. So now what happens is the weight of the dumbbell wants to fall down. If I am gonna curl this right and keep this dumbbell level, I'm gonna to have to lift up, in other words, supinate the forearm against the resistance of the dumbbell to ensure that I do that. Instantly getting more out of every single rep of my curl because I'm actually resisting the supination of that dumbbell. Now, I could do it with a band also. Same thing here, it's how we use the band that we're curling. If I were to just simply step on the band like this and grab it under my fingers and curl, yeah, sure I have some resistance to the elbow flexion, but what I don't have is resistance to supination. So what I wanna do is put my thumb underneath and my thumb underneath like this, and then grab the band. So now when I curl, you can see that the band is being wrapped around my hand, pulling me down into pronation. I've got resisted supination here with every single repetition of this banded curl. Again, forcefully contracting into it. Not just moving it there, but really squeezing and trying to turn my hand out as far as I possibly can. You can do this right now and feel a difference. Don't just turn your hand here. Turn it and squeeze it as hard as you possibly can. How far can you turn this hand back in the opposite direction? Because the further you can and with the more force, the better you're gonna get every single exercise of the biceps that you're doing right now to work for you. Last thing we got is the cable. And with a cable machine, again, I can grab the handle like this and curl, or I can offset that grip and just take it all the way down to one side so it's straight up like that. Now, when I grab this handle like this, again, I've got the same thing happening. I've got the handle pulling me down into pronation. I have to turn it and spin it around with that extra resistance against supination. So I'm here, I have to forcefully turn it in order to get that biceps to work. Again, guys, it doesn't matter how you want to train your biceps, but if you're going to do it, do it right and make sure that you're incorporating supination and with an intention to supinate. Now remember, bigger biceps doesn't necessarily mean your biggest arms. If you're looking to do that, guys, you got to work your triceps too. I give you a simple way to work both your biceps and triceps into any workout program you're following. you got to watch the Get Bigger Arms in 22 Days video here. It's literally helped millions of people to do just that. If you're looking for a full program, guys, the Ultimate Arm Program is over at athletex.com. If you haven't done so, click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video when I put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.